What's up, you guys? This is just going to be a quick and dirty review of the Lacey 2 Big Thunderbolt 2 drive. Here you can see the original packaging it comes with from Lacey directly. Box got a little bit beat up on the way to me, and um, you can see it made it into the inside box as well. So maybe they should use a little more uh, bubble wrap or something in their boxes. Maybe a tougher box. I don't know. That wasn't very nice to find as soon as I opened it up. So this is the actual box that holds the enclosure. This is the features on the side here. Some of the marketing on the back for those features. And a picture of the drive. And this is a six terabyte variety, by the way. This is another box on the inside that comes with all your cables and whatnot. On the outside, you have your serial numbers for the software uh, that they provide for you with this drive. This is the regular standard power cable that connects to a very basic looking power brick. To be honest, I thought the power brick and the cable would be a little bit nicer to look at considering these drives are sold in the Apple store next to all the fancy Apple products and uh, you know Lacey such a supposedly design conscious brand uh, they have all their stuff designed in Paris by some designer I thought that the power brick would also have some of that design to it as well but it's a very basic looking power brick looks like something that comes with your cable box from your cable company and this is your Thunderbolt cable it ships with a Thunderbolt cable, which is nice because in the Apple store, these can go for about 40 bucks, I believe. Uh, I'm sure they're cheaper on Amazon or Monoprice or something, uh, but it's nice that it comes with it. That's also a USB 3.0 cable that it comes with. And this is uh, me unboxing the actual drive itself. The styrofoam blocks that come inside of the box uh, to protect the drive are, are pretty solid. They're pretty tough, so uh, maybe that's why they don't use a lot of uh, bubble wrap when they ship these. Just get that plastic off. And this is your Lacey Too Big Thunderbolt 2 drive enclosure. It's pretty small. My hands are kind of big, um, so it might not be as small as it looks here, but it is pretty compact and small. And right out of the front, you can pull your disc out. It's got a uh, flappy pull uh, mechanism on each drive sled. Makes it pretty easy to take them out. They don't come out super smooth. Uh, it does take a little getting used to. Um, it feels like some metal is grinding on the way out and on the way in sometimes but um, it's not it's fine getting it in also takes some getting used to for it to kind of just click in um, and apparently you're actually not supposed to use this drive uh, to swap discs in and out on a regular basis um, this is this this function of changing discs is apparently only for when you're using it in RAID 0 and you have the occasional drive failure, this is just to replace the discs. Uh, that's what Lacey told me over the phone. Um, and I'm not using it in RAID 0, uh, but for the people that are, it's, it's nice to be able to swap the drives in and out. I thought I was going to be able to swap the drives in and out on a regular basis, but uh, they say that your data can get corrupted or the drives can get corrupted and if, if you swap it out unnecessarily. This is the little door on the back. Uh, where you can put your cables, uh, your power cable and your Thunderbolt cables in and out and also where you have your RAID switch uh, so you can choose between RAID 0, RAID 1 or the JBOD configuration. That big black button is actually not the uh, RAID switching button. Uh, it's a lot smaller. They give you a little key to, to push the uh, little tiny RAID switching button. Uh, that that spring is just for the door that big black button has a spring in it and it's just so the door goes on and off smoothly these are your little feet that you have on the bottom of your drive it keeps it nice and sturdy on your desk and that is the big fan port on the back uh, which doesn't make a lot of noise it's pretty quiet uh, 
you, you it's, it is audible but uh, it's pretty quiet overall and this is what it looks like next to uh, another drive and when you stack them up on top of each other they are pretty uh, solidly built and uh, the, the rubberized grips keep them nice and stable so that's nice I don't imagine anybody would buy two of these if you're gonna buy two of these you could just get the uh, bigger 10 big I think it's called that has five discs inside and uh, that one is 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 uh, for hot swapping drives so that might be a better option if you need more than two discs um, but they, but you can daisy chain these together so if you buy one now and another one later you can hook them up and, and use them simultaneously which is nice I actually don't have two of these I don't own two of these uh, the one that's powered on there is the original, um, uh, is, is your replacement. I'm sorry. The one in the front is actually the original drive that I had to get replaced because I was having a lot of issues with it. It was making my computer crash. I was never able to, uh, get it, uh, formatted and, um, it was just giving me a lot of errors and, uh, it just basically didn't work on my PC. It did show up and I was able to use it, but not on my Mac. So I had to call Lacey to their uh, non-toll-free number, their local number, and, and wait for about 15 minutes on hold. Um, so I guess they're getting a lot of calls. Um, and uh, eventually they did help me out, and they, they sent me a replacement drive. They said I can keep all the cables, so that's nice that I get a free Thunderbolt cable out of the whole process. Um, what isn't nice is that I had to wait for it to come in. It, it did come in pretty fast. It took about two days for them to replace the drive, so it came in right away. Uh, she gave me a shipping number right over the phone the, the first time I called. And so they got it all sorted out. Um, but if you go into the Apple Store reviews on your iOS device or on Apple.com, uh, you'll see that a couple of people have negative reviews about this because of uh, the errors that they have. Um, but they will replace the drive. So if you do get a bad copy of the drive, no big deal. They'll replace it. You'll see here how I have... Um, this uh, lacy rugged drive how i connected it there with the thunderbolt port and uh you know the the door goes on pretty smooth um but if you saw previously i kept my door off and in, in a ziploc bag in my desk uh just because it's it's not practical to take this door on and off all the time um like i do so if you're taking things and plugging them in and out often then taking the door off permanently is probably the best solution uh, but if you're not going to be doing that, then uh, the door does stay on pretty good and it keeps your cables nice and secure. So even though I got this driver placed, I just want to show you that it's not 100% flawless. Um, and, I, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me uh, if anyone else has a disk enclosure that they're using uh, with their Mac, uh, how reliable or how well they function. Uh, but you can see here I tried, I was mounting it just to see how long it would take and it just wouldn't show up. And so I had to restart my computer and try it again uh, just so I can get a, a test of how long, a, a time test of how long it takes to mount. This timer might not be 100% accurate. This is not like totally scientific, uh, but I did try to keep it as accurate as possible. I synced up uh, each video with sound. Um, and so you guys can get an idea of how long it takes to show up uh, once it's fully mounted on your desktop. Twenty three seconds, almost flat. So that's uh, pretty good. And I have it in the uh, JBOD configuration. So it's just two disks that I ask access separately. Um, you can see big one and big two there. And then I also have a partition for uh, access to a PC. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick speed test for anybody that's curious about uh, the speed you get in the JBOD configuration. And I'm going to go ahead and select um, as my target drive the uh, Big 2 disk, which is actually the, the blank one. On Big 1 I have uh, some files. And, uh, and and this disk is actually part is the partitioned one that I uh, partitioned so I can have uh, a portion of this accessible by PC um, and so I know that the partition might affect speeds a little bit so um, just keep that in mind I, I think having a partition on your disk makes it a tiny bit faster 
from what I've read, um, but I could be wrong. Um, despite that, I, I get uh, consistently 200 megabytes a second, which is more than good enough for what I use it for. I use it mostly for photo editing in uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, and Capture One. Um, and so for those applications, it works uh, pretty good. And this is on a MacBook Pro 2013. Um, so it, it works it works really well with that. So overall, this uh, tr this drive is, is pretty reliable outside of the, you know, the couple of little issues it has here and there. And um, as far as mounting goes, and obviously the big issues that I had with the first copy of this drive, but um, they did replace it. So uh, no complaints there. And it came relatively fast. It was about a couple of days of downtime. So it retails for about $5.99 and... Um, which is a kind of high. You can probably find something from Cal Digit and OWC, these lesser known brands. Uh, they make really, really good products. So uh, I'd recommend checking them out. Also, um, if you want to get a really, really in-depth uh, review and look at, at this drive, I recommend going into um, nntech.com. They have a, a really comprehensive review of this drive and they show pictures of teardowns and um, you know the internals of this drive so definitely check them out I'll leave a link in the description of this video and uh, thanks for watching guys hope this helped anybody that's uh, on the market for this drive or another drive take care